Hello guys, Susanna here. Well, I'm back and I've done a few things behind the scenes. So I continue to do a little bit more here just with the, um, the wool and um, just some pistol stitches with this. So I'll finish that off. Might even do that some. I'm going to do these today in that really nice stitch. I put um, just leftover pieces of a ribbon edge from a doily. You cut nice and close so it's straight um, and then just held it down in those little holes that's what I like about these things you can hold them down in the holes I put this here did a fly stitch and then on every second one I did a um, what are they called a colonial knot okay um, put this actually stitched that down before it was just sort of sitting there still need to work on there i've got to sort of do something i'd like to do a turkey work in there that would be nice um yeah i don't know if you did see that but um so i want to i won't do anything along here so basically wherever there's an edge you've got to do something did that here did that over there might do something small here maybe a couple of crosses to hold that down i won't worry about it here so just there, 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 and there. I might do some stitches because I thought I've got a lot of rickrack and lace and everything else. Um, I probably need to do a few more stitches. So maybe I'm going to be thinking of doing a, um, oh, what stitch is it called? Chain stitch. Whereas for now, I'm just going to zoom in. Hopefully, oops, it's in close enough. And remember this book so someone actually asked foolproof embroidery by jennifer um clouston i forgot to i think that's here say it clouston um i was looking through it and flicking through it and i didn't you know mention the book so i really like this stitch here and it's only a little simple it's small but it's got lots of elements even including we're going to do a little bit of beading so um yeah it tells you here it's okay um you know the leaves are the ribbon stitch the bud single bead the twig stem stitch so it tells me what i need to do and that's on page 59 if you guys want to maybe do it as well so i've got all the different bits and pieces i got a um um, got some more wool because I was running out of wool um, from the reclaimed um, from Melanie from the reclaimed um, textiles so I thought that would be a good one and then and there's the ribbon and then the small bits for the twig so we'll see how we go with it so um, I thought it was some sort of different stitch but the actual twigs where are we okay the twigs is just a stem stitch so we're going to do a regular stem stitch we'll start here I do like this color I do like stem stitch too it's nice and quick so I'm gonna go a bit of a light on here and so this what I'm doing here I'll do here as well so this is the last video and I'm still working on it because crazy patchwork does take a lot of time and I think it's called crazy because there's so many elements um, you know like we're taking it into the new slow stitching world and doing this sort of stuff here but back in the day it was more about just filling in the lines with all different types of stitches so um, sort of doing a bit of old and new. Okay. So. Try, to, try not to do two big stitches. One thing with um, this it can. And get a little big. Okay. 
and we're not trying to get any type of realism here because you know that was a real bush the leaves and everything um, would be different I'm just getting elements that I like and um, and working with them so I'm going to go down through here and I'm going to grab some of this There's quite a bit, so I'll have enough to do the other side. Where's that start? That starts here. So I'm going to just go in out here and then maybe even just put it away. So that way I can just start it there. So there's the stem stitch for that part. And then we are going to do small little twiggy bits. So I've got a finer, so this is still the pearl thread, but it's a finer, so it's probably, um, I think, eight is the standard size, which is this, and then you've got the, I think, five, which is a bit thicker, see how that's thicker, and I think this might be 12, which is um, a bit thinner, okay, now I'm going some new uh, new needles so they're sharp um, skinny needles which I will use for my um, yep. but they got bigger eyes okay they're like straw needles maybe Actually, I think I might need a, a shorter one. It does seem a little long. Okay. So what we are going to do is just do the little little sprigs. So I'll probably do a few little like Y, you know, uh, fly stitches along and a couple of straight stitches all the way around. Back in okay. Yeah, I just found them um, on bitten by the bug when um, I saw someone review that and um I saw those and I'm like, oh I'm gonna get it because I like the big eyes. Okay, so what we are going to do is, I think that's just a straight one, maybe just come out like that, and then here I might do like a Y. grab that over here a bit later so we've got a little bit of a branch happening there so um, I could probably have something going out here it wouldn't hurt actually while I've got this I probably should um, grab the ribbon And do some of the ribbon work. See, sometimes having all this extra stuff hanging around the outside, not always good. Okay. Get the ribbon. I oh, know that does it does go separately. Okay, so just at this point, we're just wanting a couple of little sprigs here and there. I'm going to do, because it's going to pull that, so I might do another, another Y. Okay. Um, 
can be draw that in. Okay. Yep. Is that all coming out? Nope, good. So at this point it does sort of look a little funny, but it's okay. Right, we'll go back there and do sort of like an offshoot and come in here and do the same, maybe that way. And better not forget the other side. big long long piece just where you might think bits and pieces will go and maybe having a little piece coming off annoying wondering if it's worth chopping off and just restarting to be honest even though I've got it where it's supposed to go right. um, and then I'm just gonna go here and then I'm gonna do another one of those little fly stitches on a bit of an angle and it does seem like a lot but you've got beads and um, little bits of the what's the name going to go in there so um yeah tiny little beads and um the ribbon so let me do another one coming out here i think Okay, we'll see how we go with this. I'm just being very random. I probably need to be a bit more um, deliberate. We'll see how we go. Across. And then maybe another one just here. So, last but not least, look, I'm going to um, take this off because I'll need this on the other side and I may even need to put extras in. So, we've done that. Now, get the bigger needle again and I'll put that in here because it is a sharp. Okay. Um, Okay, just a reach of needle needle because I got a nice big wide eye. It's not always the easiest to get through. There we go. So we're just using 
a silk thread. Okay. It's more like ribbon embroidery than crazy thing. But um, yeah, it's all good. Now, so on one of them, looks like it's got In it and a couple of small little bits so you just a ribbon thread is it just goes in on itself so it come up goes in on itself yeah there you go come up here yep don't pull too tight. There we go. Now look, that's okay. They're only supposed to be small little sprigs, so it's all good. Um. Okay, this is a, a bit of a variegated thread, so I'm going to do... I'm going to do two here. Um, I think I might do some beading there, but I will do one here. So some of them have got beads coming off it, and the other ones have got the leaves. So I'll just do a tiny little leaf. And then I might come up here. Got room to do a bigger one. I'm going to go back this way. And the ribbon's a little twisted, but I actually don't mind that. Um, I'll do okay. I think because it's variegated, it's actually getting it out quite a bit lighter, and I might even do another one. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to just do one here coming off the stem. It doesn't say it has to have um, coming off those little shoots. It just seems like a bit of an empty spot in there. I'm going to do beading there and I'm going to do a couple of beads there. So do beads do a layout underneath okay. it's not very big it's pretty tiny it's probably bigger than what i should be doing actually i might do two off here Little twisting, but that's okay. Um, beads there. Do another leaf coming here. It's looking rather cute. Fluff it out a little bit, I think. Okay, well, I might continue on with this just to do the leaves. 
and then I'll come back when it comes to doing the beads. It's really filling it right up. I didn't think it was going to fill it right up, but then it'll fill up that corner as well. So I think it's probably a bit bigger and more than what I had planned. So I probably don't need as many leaves as what I think. I'm probably going to need more beads. So I'll go back over here, do another tiny little leaf. Can feel that wall. Here it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Doesn't need that many. Yeah, probably beads on that one. I'll do another leaf on this one. Twisting, twisting, twisting. There we go. Don't mind it twisting a little bit, but when it twists that much, sort of, you know, defeats the purpose of what we're wanting to do. Oh, that's probably a tad big. Oh well. This one a bit smaller. Let's do another tiny little leaf here. And then I reckon we can get to doing the beads. And they need to be pretty jolly small, I think. So I'm going to have to come in with a tiny needle. Um, do another, another one here. And one down here. And I think they're starting to go in on themselves a bit too much, which is not good. So they're ending up a little flat. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to. Um, finish that off. Okay. Looks like that's been the other end of the other one. Okay. Now. Okay. Beads. Hopefully you can see that. What I'm trying to achieve it doesn't quite look like that, but you know round about we're not perfect are we now um tiny looks like little buds of a different color i think that's probably a bit bright i was actually thinking maybe some in the green 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 and green where's the tiny little Just need to see. Oh, they actually do fit. Do you reckon that'll work? I've got pink. Maybe that might work a little bit better. With these ones. I've got a massive selection of beads, but you don't necessarily need too many. Here we go. Hmm. I reckon. Hmm. So we might have to do a pink. Tiny little beads. I'm not really a bead person, but you know, I'll keep this aside for if we do use some of the green. I think some of the green might be nice. 
maybe even some green beads along the bottom there. I mean, if it was something elaborate that I'm going to stick on the wall, maybe. But, um, some of these I don't need. I'm just grabbing... some of those okay now where are we in the book a bit of an idea just a bit in there okay really don't want that to fall so I'm putting that over there okay want some up there but I was thinking I might even go a little one a little one here in this whether it be a soft pink I think it might be a bit of a soft pink I think that'll work but they're not as little as what is in there those ones that they've got are actually tiny 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 beads so I am, um, yeah, so I might have to go through this again just to make sure this little, little lady stays down. Ugh. There we go. It's supposed to be little buds, so that seems to work. Okay, might put another one in here. Some of these little pink ones. That does not want to go through that needle. Oh, like your socks. Okay. Okay. Just sort of a real softy colour pink. And go through that twice. Yeah, it'll do. Um, might have one up here. Or maybe just get that bit of a loop so that there we go it doesn't it's sort of it's, it's the real peachy color that's in there I don't think that that's going to work oh look at that bugger there we go okay There's another one up here. Now you probably can't see it a great deal, but it's there. I'll just do this one. <laughs> it definitely needs a smaller eye needle. Oh, that's so annoying. No, it ain't happening. This one, it's tiny, but the hole seems to be huge. There you go, it goes through. How weird is that? Okay. You can never tell with these beads. But I suppose you get what you pay for if you only get these little cheapies. Um, they're not going to be that great, are they? Okay, I'll do a little loop to hold that down. Okay, can you see what I'm trying to do? There you go. That is pretty. 
So it's pretty full there, but I think once I get the other one there, I don't think I was supposed to be quite that full, but you know, it is what it is. And it looks, well, I suppose, yeah, because there was only two leaves on there. So, okay, well, I'm going to pause it and I'll be back in, um, once I've done a bit more beading and we'll see what we're going to do from there. Okay, I'm back again. thought while I was off, I'd take, do, do that. And then I finished doing the beading, so that'll have beading along there to make it a bit fuller. I've um, re-threaded and going to work in there and probably use some of the rest of the lighter, the wool, maybe down the bottom just to fill it up a bit. And then, um, so once that's done and I've done finished doing the um, this, I'll zoom it back out again. Um, this little guy, I'll push that over there, will go into my book. Now, I've got still need to. Well, Getting there. I'm still I was going to do more, but uh, um, okay. So that will be put in there. They actually look quite good together. I'm glad I'm bringing in a little bit of purple to sort of tie in with that, and then this embroidery in ties ties in with the ribbon embroidery in here. Um, yeah. So yeah, I love love how that looks. So I've just done. A lot of little French knots and everything in that one so we'll finish up there and then I'm going to do just probably in this color maybe I think that'll look nice um, to sort of make it um, get working with that I could probably do that I could probably do that now just a quick um, chain stitch okay Ooh. Like a continuous chain stitch. Might be nice. What else are you thinking? Put that there. So, like the yeah, it's a lot of work. So I've done a, a quite a bit of work behind the scenes. Um, where do I go? Light here. I was actually even thinking there's quite a few little you know stitches in here and in my little my um stitching this guy here. this is the one i seem to really like to do the a a to z of embroidery stitches um the reclaimed textiles actually had one of these on there um where are we uh, chain You've got interlaced and you've even got whipped chain stitch which is actually quite nice so this is just a normal chain stitch so I'll put this out of the way so yeah this will be the last one so you might see in the um in the thumbnail sort of like it being put in the book or when i start the um the applique at the end of the applique I usually generally show the finished work of the one before because I usually don't always get it 100% finished so this is a chain stitch so we're going to start A and then B No, a, oh yeah, you would whip it into next to each other. Okay, yes, I forgot about that. There we go. And then it just loops. So the best way to do it is probably that way. 
think it catches on itself and if you want to be a little bit more um, trickier which I may because you I don't think you will see this I might do a whipped chain stitch so I might do this similar color because I've got a fair bit of it um, or maybe just keep this just to be a normal chain stitch just to keep it a bit more you know not so a bit subtle and then the next one on the top just go down I might do a whipped chain stitch which is you put something around it so you do that type of thing again I might use this same okay and then we'll grab a different color and just whip it around okay. okay now that was a bit of a bang I could probably zoom it in again okay very there you go just a very subtle little stitch that I think I might leave that subtle because I'll do a little bit more here um, I think it's going to be less subtle so I'm going to go and I might actually catch the actual cream rather than the blue. So what we could probably do is get some of that blue and do the stem stitch in that nice blue colour, like as in the whip. The whip stitch over the top. So I'm just catching the top of that um, beige. quite thick that um, it's from a linen Sanderson piece so it's quite thick that piece sometimes you gotta pull that's the only thing when you're using vintage fabrics they can be you know different variants so um, some are a bit thinner some are a bit thicker So we'll get a a, um, hmm, a greeny colour, a greeny bluey colour. I think that'll work. Because we've already got that here. Yeah, I'm going to do something a little bit sort of more on the brighter side. Okay. And then around the outside, to sew it into the book, we're going to have to pick a colour. Something that's fairly neutrally that works. That other one had the, bright, the green. Okay, okay, I'll probably do one more. Right. And then we'll just finish it off. Chain stitches are just a variation on Lazy Daisy, to be honest. But when you are actually making it into a chain, it is a little bit different. Okay. Now we're going to go... I'm going to go with that one. I think it'll be nice. Okay. Start on the top and you wrap it around. Yep. At least we're doing a little bit of stitching rather than cheating and only putting um, lace and whatnot on there. 
Um, we don't need that much. That should be all right. Ah, oh, one more loop. Better too much than not enough. Okay. Now, they've done it with the wool, which makes it really quite loose. But when you do it with um, Wonder Fill, it you've got to be really careful not to do it tight. Okay. So we're starting at the bottom here. Or on the top and then we're going to go up and okay up and around and we do the same up and around we go underneath And it's so tempting to do it there, but you've got to do it in the next one, which is really weird. It's actually quite detached. Um, I think I did this one when I um, did that, the tablecloth. Probably be a bit more looser with um the wool so even though you know you're here and you're tempted to go back in there you've got to go into the next one see yeah. okay and then we're gonna go it'll take us down there we go i like that Sort of subtle blends in but um, has the match of the two colors I like that it gives it a bit of texture so um, I can quickly show you how I do some pistol stitch even though you guys are old hats at this now but for the newbies because um, you know even though I've done it in previous videos some of you guys might be just starting here so Pistol stitch is just a variation on um, um, French knots. So come up here. Okay, coming up. So you just go like this. So French knot you would go in very close, whereas a pistol stitch you I've just got to do two two loops like that. So grab it two loops and then I want to go about there so I hold it and then pull and that's a good way that you it won't go anywhere so yeah make these little buds it saves you having to do um, like just thing um, you know long straight bits and then a French knot it happens it does it all in the one go so I'm going to need a small one so I might just do a short one there hold that pull okay coming up from here might be a bit higher this one which is good actually Um, yep, yeah. and got a variegated thread. Now we do like the old pistol stitch. Okay, one, two, buckle my shoe. So there we go, and then that concludes the lesson in crazy patchwork it's been a fair fair bit but um i'll show you the finished bit of that like it looks very busy but then it almost looks like you know when you've got a rose and it's got the thorny parts and all that kind of stuff so once it's full here it'll be all full and it'll be balanced and i think it'll look really good quite like that there too 
so there you go guys um just got that little bit i might do a couple of crosses in pink and maybe the same in blue and i think i think that's pretty much oh i wanted to do turkey work in there mm. um if you go back to the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery and the, where she um, she would both well I've got it in mind Roxy's Journal of Stitchery when you when we're doing our different stitches so you just go onto the playlists of either mine or um, Rachel or Sarah's or Corinne's or whoever and they they will show you how the Judas stitches or you just buy these or some little book anyway i will catch you later it's been 45 minutes already and my phone is flashing at me so i think it's running low so i will catch you in the next video so i'm not sure what that will be the journal of stitchery or i've done a haul and i need to uh, show you a haul um getting oh, oh gorgeous i spent an absolute fortune but Nice Sanderson and I down and quilt, beautiful laces. Mm, it was fun shopping. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next month with applique. Bye.